is about to quit well at least at least change from daily to a weekly content and then I and then I went through the process of creating all the content I create everywhere from the one piece of content I create to do it every day and it made me realize you know what I got to keep doing this every day and how do I how do you how can you get to doing your content every single day in a way that is the most efficient and the easiest and simplest way to create content for your audience everywhere every single day so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so how do you do it how do you create content for your audience everywhere every single day easily right how do you do that so that it's not too hard to do and it's possible to do it every single day so I've been doing that for almost a year now using the course income secrets series right and I've been post posting that everywhere everywhere seriously everywhere if you haven't if you haven't been following me you you if you if you have you know and by the way if you're listening to the audio of this make sure you go to cis285 dot jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be uh, sharing the screen here so let's actually do that right now I'm sharing I'm going to share the screen and show you what I mean when I say that I'm everywhere so where's my webcam there's the webcam okay so this is my blog right so I post on my blog every single day of the week anyways Monday to Friday <clears throat> five days a week right so it's basically I'm doing course income secrets and there are episodes that are there they just go on every single day right so I post here then what I do is I actually generate assets from my video so that that's the secret you take your video just your video and then you generate all the pieces you need for everything else right well okay let me rephrase that there's two pieces I create a blog post and a video so those two pieces is what I use to create everything else right so if I look for example at my even just my 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 broadcasts in my email list right see how I'm using course income secrets 22 83 I'm using the course income secrets to actually say can I see preview preview message yeah so I mean this is this is basically the blog post at least part of it and the and the image that's on the blog post and I send that out to my list every single day now one of the things I was thinking is that what if if I just do like because I was talking to a friend who was telling me that I should um know more well that I should work on certain things right so certain things I and I know I do I need to improve certain things for sure I still need that I'm always going to need to improve your everybody we all need to always improve right but the thing is that she was uh talking uh, talking about something specific and I was thinking to myself well maybe I can go to the one week the one week once a week blog and video right so if I if I was to create only one episode a week it would give me a whole lot more time to work on the other stuff right because I got lots of stuff I need to work on I need to improve I need to re I actually need to redo my webinar because the webinar I've been doing for 10 weeks now is really not giving me the any results that I'm looking for and I one of the things is that my message isn't clear my offer is not clear people don't really know what I'm actually offering and I was actually I was asked that question I'm like well well I'm offering syndication I'm offering this I'm offering, and it's like well I, I don't understand what does it give me to do that right so I have and I actually realized that me I'm offering the product not the result that's your offer has to be your result you can't be offering the product you can't be trying to sell or tell people that they need to go use this or use that right I mean it, it's 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 not going to work you got to be offering the result what is the result that you're trying to get so I have to rethink my whole thing and I have to start doing the webinars again with this new approach and I'm going to have to 
I guess I'm gonna have to cancel them I, anyways I'm not really sure what my plan is yet because my next webinar is supposed to be in like four days from now so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but that got me thinking well I, I need more time I need more time and I'm spending you know an hour or two hours a day creating my videos and creating my blog posts and then sharing it to all the platforms it does take a little bit of time but it's and it's taken away from other things because you know I do have a day job I have the family I have things so I can't I can't spend eight hours a day working on this I only have an hour or two a day right so you know a bit in the morning lunchtime, a bit in the, after work and that's it that's all right an hour at lunch more or less uh, maybe an hour in the morning half an hour an hour in the morning and then an hour or so after work later on when the kids are in bed or depending on the days but that's all I have and I'm basically spending most of that time I'd say at least three quarters of that time doing my episodes every day right so I thought well what if I just do them once a week right so then I then I <laughs> you know then I kind of notice okay well I've got all these things in here like SoundCloud for example I've got the course uh, on I I um, on Apple Podcasts every single day I've got an episode on Google Podcasts every single day I've got an episode on iHeartRadio every single day I've got the, the these these uh um these uh well uh IGTV episodes every single day I've got uh, TikTok videos every day um I mean I've got every and I'm not sharing I mean I'm on Facebook too I'm on LinkedIn I'm on 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 Twitter on Instagram on oh, Instagram I showed you but so I'm doing that everywhere every day right so I'm I'm like oh I can't I like what am I gonna do if I want to post things every day to get my to get more audience members and get everything right how can I get how can I be everywhere every day and create only one piece of content a week now there could be an approach for me to do that and eventually I will get there because I will have a big enough audience and I won't be worried too much about daily content and I'll maybe have a team that'll do it for me and things like that but until then I need a daily email to my list I I need a daily post in and all these uh, podcasts that I'm I'm sharing I need a daily um a post on on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter and Instagram right on snapchat I need that daily thing for my audience to connect and learn learn who I am and get to know me and get to like me so that they trust me and eventually buy from me so I have to have that has to happen I can't not do that okay so what's the simplest way for you to do that right that's kind of what I'm talking about if I let's just uh, like I mean yeah oh sorry I had that enabled on there it shouldn't have been there that course income secrets 285 I wasn't supposed to be there let me just yeah so that's actually I just wanted to look at it to tell you so but I mean how do you create daily content for your audience everywhere easily well as easy as recording a video so now that's how you do it easily is you record a video right and you can you can like I actually write a blog post afterwards which is around the topic of the video I don't and I, it's kind of like a separate I it's a separate piece of content I do it kind of not necessarily the same but you know one thing you could do is you could just generate the the the, the take the audio transcribe the video right take the audio the the sound the the words out of there and use that as your blog blog post I actually did that for a while you know and it works okay as long as what you're saying and there's spaces and and you know it's got to be laid out in a way that that looks like a blog post you can't just have a bunch of text blurbed out because you know when you go to YouTube right say if I go to YouTube here um when you go to YouTube right and you go to oh actually I have a I have that right here if you go to YouTube right and you look at your videos that you posted after a day or two or sometimes last sometimes half a day whatever they'll actually generate your if I look at this one they'll actually generate go to subtitles see down the bottom here subtitles right so they'll actually generate uh, automatic automatic subtitles right so you can actually go here I can go to this oh actually I can't I don't want to overwrite it okay I'll just click on this. so when they first generated you you can click on this duplicate and edit it'll actually it'll actually create this this other one here which is a an, an edited one and you can go and edit a couple things in there and then generate the text right but the point that I want to make is that you can actually get the text out of this see when I look at this first when I click on it uh actually it doesn't look like this when it first starts but let me just let it load up here 
I'm not sure if it's hopefully it's not slowing down my computer uh but yeah so you got this like this and you can click on the edit as text right here and it's just the whole text you can just take all this copy this put it in uh, uh let's just go here I'm just going to put it in a text file here just on the computer on the screen and you got the whole text right here right that's the whole text of the of your video all the text in your video now obviously it's very not it's not very uh how can I put it it's not very uh, readable because you know there's no spaces there's there's lots of so there's there'd be editing involved but you could do that right you could take this text right you could take this text and go and edit it right oh there's just a few lines here right so hey my friend right so hey my friend right obviously you wouldn't need to put that inside the inside there but you can kind of you know use obviously this is the text thing from the command line so it's not really meant for this but <laughs> if you were to paste that inside of a wordpress blog for example you could actually go and edit or a word or a word document or anything right you can actually create your text so anyways that's one way to to uh, to create text from your video there's other there's also other services too that you, you pay I don't know how much it is a dollar per, per per minute or five minutes or something so if you have a 30 minute video it'd be 30 bucks or something right um I'm not sure but anyways there's services that do that instead of YouTube waiting because the thing with the YouTube one is first of all they uh don't do it every single time I mean it's been 99 percent of the time for me they've, they've done it but they don't all do it so I'm gonna can't discard changes here I'm gonna go to the other <coughs> I'm so the other thing is that with YouTube they might not generate it but even if they do sometimes it takes a while right so like this one here which is the video I post I published yesterday if I go to subtitles it wasn't yeah see they haven't they haven't generated one yet this is the one I did which is just the first minute or two of the of the audio that I'm that I created text for just for my um IGTV videos and all that but anyways the point is you record a video in your you create a blog post so whether you create the blog post from the text uh, out of the video or you write it up like I do that's all you got to do when I say simply create right when I say <clears throat> when I say how to create daily content for your audience everywhere easily what I mean by easily is I mean you just do one piece of content a video and one piece of text which is your blog post right so you don't have to use a blog post you can actually just write it up someplace else because really the reason for the text is because you need something to send or to post right so when you're post like for me when I look at these videos I posted here right if I look at this one I'm just going to pause it here but if you see the text that's right here right this text that's right here that's the text in my blog it's the text in my blog and there's even the, and there's the link right here for the blog right and uh and this this header here well anyways that's a separate thing talk about that in a, uh, in a minute but for now I'm just saying so this is the text that came out of my blog post so I when I post on Instagram I put that text when I post on uh TikTok uh, maybe not TikTok but when I post uh well in, in these ones right course income secrets right you can see right here if you are wondering what the simple steps to become non prison might be worried not simple I know you've heard most recently probably so all this text that's in here too also comes from if I look at this one for example uh can I just what if, no that's going to start playing it right I haven't checked this much but uh well if I just that's not what I want more with your phone what is that I did put a caption uh that's true that's not what I want to do I want to go and show you uh well I'm not really sure on on SoundCloud how, how how people see my stuff I guess maybe here my station my tracks anyways the thing is that whenever like when I look at this for example if I can see this I can see the text again the same thing the text that's there comes from the 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 blog post right so if you re if you record a video like me I record a video a, a 30 minute video every day right 25 30 minute video right so I do that 30 well sometimes 40 right if you look at these videos right here there there's some of these are uh, uh private ones but anyways the ones that are public right this one is 31 minutes 33 minutes 31 minutes 30 minutes 31 34 uh 
33 32 28 right so 33 34 right so those are the videos that I create every day and they and these ones if I look at this you see the text that's here again that's comes from my blog post so I take all those I take the the video the video I record and the blog post and I I repurpose it but you can't take the like if you're recording a 30 minute video for example right you can't take that video now how do you make it how do you make it easily afterwards right how do you make it so that you can actually do use this I mean you could go through the process of creating all the pieces because you know when I post let's say to LinkedIn if I go to or let's say Pinterest do I have Pinterest yeah Pinterest right here so when I post to Pinterest right I post these videos right these videos here this video here is a video that if I can I if I open it turn the sound off I'll pause it okay so this is a video here again right so if I if I look at this uh, does it, it doesn't even show you the description does it oh, interesting I didn't know that it just shows you the title as you can see I'm not super uh, knowledgeable in every single platform because I don't I'm not active on every single platform but I post on every single platform so and I'm getting just a few views for example on this right because it's not something that that I'm super active I'm not engaging I'm not making sure that people see my stuff by engaging or doing ads or things like that but when you see when you um but I but you can see that that video is there and it's got and I have something at the end here oh let me show you so there so no so somebody's watching this video they're like oh crap where's the rest of it it only showed the first you know four minutes and a half or whatever it is four minutes and 30 seconds or so of the video and now it's that's it so now I basically have this at the end of the video that tells people if you want to you got to go click the link here this link here will take them to that actually blog post I don't know can you see the link well it's kind of small down there but that's the link to the actual blog post and in Pinterest when I post I include the link to my blog and in the description I don't know why the description is not showing up I guess it's kind of weird I, I thought that there would have because you know when you when you pin a, a video on Pinterest it, it lets you put I don't know 500 or so characters for a description right so I don't know where that goes why is it not there right anyways that's probably a thing um and the, as you can see there's only seven video views on this one there was a two minute two minute average time out of the seven ones so I'm assuming some watched them longer some watched them shorter um but you know I got um anyways that's not the point so okay so you got your video you created now you need to create the assets for that so the easiest thing is to have something that generates the assets for you right and that's that's what I'm, I'm using I'm using a, a platform called click ecourse which is actually the platform I created and it basically allows me to take the video and the text and generate the pieces I need for the all the other platforms right like for example when I post to um LinkedIn on LinkedIn I want to have a certain footer LinkedIn I'll show you what I mean so when I well first of all when I post to LinkedIn I can't post a full 30 minute video and you don't want to post a link to your YouTube video that's just not going to give you as much reach or as much um results as if you were to sometimes no results at all right if you post a link so you really want to be posting the video natively on LinkedIn but the problem is you can't post anything longer than 10 minutes on LinkedIn so what I do is I create a five minute video from the 30 minute video right just the first five minutes of it and I add that you know that darkening thing you saw at the end which it says go if you want to know more go to the blog post whatever so I, but the other thing I do too is I actually add to the end here oh that's not the right one this is the video so whenever I post I have the text that's here right I have that text which is the beginning of the blog post and then I have this which goes on every single one of my posts and then I have this at the bottom of all my posts right so so I, the the engine lets me doesn't I don't have to worry about cutting and pasting and do, I just take the one thing it's meant for LinkedIn and I just copy that and poof paste it I don't have to go 
get oh I gotta go get you know just the first x number of characters from the blog post oh I I gotta not forget to put this thing because you know that has to be clear for people and, and oh I I can't forget the the footer inside my so every single post I want this there right I want all these hash these hashtags the sash counselor there and everything right <laughs> so I want the same thing in every single one of my posts I want the I want the thumbnail I want the the text for LinkedIn I want the text for Pinterest I want the text for SoundCloud I want a text for Instagram I want I want the text for for Facebook I want a text for Twitter I want a, a two minute video for Twitter I want a five minute video for for Pinterest and LinkedIn and I also use a five minute video for Facebook although I could post the full mini full video but my goal is to get people to, to my blog so the only place I post the full the full length video is in YouTube um even though I could post the shorter one there too right but anyways I post the long video in YouTube and I make that the blog post video and that's how that's why when you look at one of my posts here right if I click on this this post in my blog in a second there it'll load up hopefully the sound is still synced up here um yeah so this video this is a video right this is a video that's part of the blog post if I click on this it'll actually play the video right out of YouTube right is it will it it's supposed to oh maybe it didn't click oh there you go yeah so it'll play the video from YouTube right it's going to sound off and as you can see there's subtitles and those are part of the subtitles that came that were done automatically and I edit some of it but that's the subtitles that I use also to burn into the IGTV video right because in the IG uh, no this is TikTok sorry in Instagram if I look at this video here you can see down the bottom there's 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 uh there's subtitles there because when people are navigating through the news the news feed they they'll see the video but no sound right by default so you want to have them you want to have subtitles show up when people uh, see your stuff right so that's uh yeah um let's see now so yeah I mean uh okay so your simple process is create your video create your blog post and then use an engine to generate the assets for you because you don't want to have to do that all yourself you know taking it takes time to import that video inside of a video editor and then to cut the end of it so that you only have five minutes or ten minutes or whatever of the video and then go and add that outro at the end to tell people to go to your blog and then save that video and now you're ready to post it but then you also need the text right you got to go to your blog post you take out the first you know 500 characters for LinkedIn or the 400 for Pinterest or the or the the 200 for Twitter right I mean all these things you you every time you got to do it right so why not have something that does it for you so what is what does it for you here's here's what I'm talking about so this engine here is on clickycourse.com so that would be right here let me just put the link for that on the screen <coughs> again if you're listening to the audio you want to go to cis285.jsgagnon.com to go uh to this uh, to this um to this site so I'm just gonna let's actually go here whoops I'm gonna open up in the incognito because I'm already logged in I want you to see what it looks like when you're when you go there uh where's the link for it there it is okay so you go to click ecourse.com oh that's syndicate okay no well yeah I guess yeah yeah I guess that syndicate is really where you want to go because that's really what we're talking about right now <coughs> and but you go there <coughs> and that tells you about the syndication engine right and it talks about what others are talking about what I'm talking about here is creating your video your blog post generating these two pieces and then using the engine to generate everything else right and um <clears throat> and that's 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 the engine it's pretty straightforward once you have access to the engine which is described in here how to do it um you can actually go if I go whoops wrong one if I go here and I go to my account under syndication um let's just uh, go there just to s and so yeah when you're there uh, there's a, you can have series multiple series I just I lots of testing but mostly I do course income secrets and if I look at any of these like say for example I don't know it doesn't matter I can look at the, this one here right 
this when you after you've set it up and you've imported your video and you've put your text in you click on this generated anyways there's a button to click and it generates all these pieces for you right so if I were to look for example at the this this video this image this is an image that the the engine creates for me so that I can use that inside my blog to put as uh, as the image uh, of the blog so that people so that it's got the little play icon in front of it right kind of thing uh what else it also generates my thumb my podcast thumbnail so this is my podcast thumbnail that I use to post to my podcast right so that's what that is and you know and okay so that's the podcast whoops I didn't mean to do that okay so and then there's these other things right the IGTV five minute video is basically the video that I use to share on Instagram right so in this video turn the sound off in this video you can see that I have the subtitles down the bottom I have the video here in the middle right I don't know if you, you can't really tell because it's all black right but I mean that's a vertical that's a vertical video right it's it's not as wide and it's got this and that's just how IGTV works but I've got this text added to it this header if you will right added to it and that's done automatically for me every time I every time I do a video same thing with uh, other things like the text uh the text version of my Aweber right I just take this and I cut and paste that I put that inside my Aweber uh emails and uh when I whenever I whenever I post the the, the SoundCloud I've got the SoundCloud with the, the text the title right and the link to the to the um to the the the, the you know the link to the to the episode or to the blog post right I've got the trim the two minute trim video two minute five minute trim video so the two minute trim video I use that for um oops turn this okay so I that's the video I use for Twitter because on Twitter you can't do more than it's two minute 20 seconds but anyways I made this a, a one minute 50 but at the end the same thing right it, it ends with this right and I don't have to worry about whoops let's go back yeah see it goes it fades out and then it shows that right so that's that's the two minute version and I got the five minute version for, that I use for LinkedIn for Pinterest and Facebook and then I also have a, a a two minute version that has subtitles burnt in sometimes I've used whoops no that's a subtitle sorry subtitles burnt oh it didn't uh, is that going to work if I do that because it's it was failing the other day I don't know why but um the subtitles so there's subtitles right there's also shortened subtitles like the five minute subtitle yeah that's failing for so I'll have to look at why that but anyways uh those are those are the assets so the engine creates all these assets you just have to like I said if you just have to uh create your two inputs you got to do your video and your text and then after you've got your video and your text you run it through the engine and it generates all the pieces for you that you can post to all the platforms that's how you make it simple right that's how you make it easy um and you know and that's that's the engine that's the way to make things easy let's go back where is that I mean how do you create daily content well you just do a video and a blog post that's it that's all you do and that can take you 30 well if you do a 30 minute video obviously it's going to take you more than 30 minutes because the video itself is 30 minutes right but if you don't worry about um if you use the text from the video using services and things like that it could be just 35 minutes right well it'll take you longer than that but let's just say it takes you an hour to do the content right this is kind of what it takes me right 30 minutes for the video and about 30 minutes to write the blog post so that's how much it takes to create the content that's it after that you gen you you don't need to spend any time generating the assets the engine does it for you right the engine lets you focus on other things go get a coffee go whatever even though even though the engine takes you know half an hour or so to generate the pieces for you you don't have to wait you don't have to do it you're not on your computer doing it it just happens right so I mean that's the thing so uh just just do that and then you can share to the platforms now I actually have a blog post that I did I actually have a blog post that I did on how to share if I go back here there's a blog post I did that actually talks about how to share to the platforms how I do it in 20 minutes 
23 minutes of videos daily what's your origin where is it where is it so it's been a I guess it's been a bit since I created that episode uh, 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 there you go this one here right episode 269 watch me share native assets to 24 platforms in less than 20 minutes so it actually takes me 19 minutes to share to 24 platforms and I show you live well not live I mean obviously it's a record recorded video but I'm actually recording it as I'm doing it I'm not skipping anything I'm not pausing anything I'm I'm going poof 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 and I'm sharing to all the platforms so if you were to do that that would mean that within an hour and a half to two hours you'd be able to post to 24 platforms by just recording one video and writing one blog post that's how you do it but you need to have the tools to automate it you need to be able to uh, learn the process of going all the platforms all this stuff is not is not super easy to do but it is simple right it's it's easy to to understand and to put in place once you know the steps and you have access to the tools all right so if you're interested in this obviously go to clickycourse.com slash syndication or is it syndicate syndicate clickycourse.com slash syndicate and go check that out and uh, let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time